So today we're going to learn the two other ways to solve systems of equations. So the first way is by elimination. So given two equations, add a multiple of 1 to eliminate a variable. So you're going to take the smaller equation, or not the smaller equation, but see how x in this equation is positive and this 2x is negative. If I add a positive and a negative together, they're going to cancel each other out. So we want to take the x that has the smaller coefficient, which is this one, because this only has a coefficient of 1. We want to multiply it by something that will allow it to cancel with this two, negative 2x. So we want to multiply this whole equation by 2. So we're going to multiply everything by 2. So we get 2y equals 2x plus 4. And we don't do anything with this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write this equation right underneath it and we're going to add these two equations together. So 2y plus y gives you 3y. 2x plus a negative 2x gives you 0x. And 4 plus negative 1 gives you positive 3. So now we have 3y is equal to 3. If you divide by 3, you get y is equal to 1. So now we have to take this y and plug it into either one of these equations. And we're going to do it in to both of them just so you see that you'll get the exact same answer. So y, y is equal to x plus 2. Since we know y is equal to 1, we're going to plug it in for y. You get x plus 2. If you subtract the 2 over, you get x equals negative 1. And if you plug it into this equation, you get 1 is equal to negative 2x minus 1. If you add the 1 over, you get 2 is equal to negative 2x. If you divide by negative 2x, you get x is equal to negative 1. So either way, you're going to get x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 1. And we always write this final solution as an ordered pair. Okay. So so now we're going to move on to the last way to solve system of equation. So if you're given two equations, you're going to put the coefficients into a matrix to solve. So the coefficients are these numbers right here in front of the x's. And on both of these y's, there's an understood 1 as a coefficient. So we're going to put these into a matrix where we're going to put this coefficient right here, so negative 1. Then we're going to put this coefficient right here. And then we're going to put this one and then the, the same one right here over a matrix of 2, this first coefficient, this coefficient again, and then this one, and this one. So negative 1, 1. And then you're going to get when you multiply matrices, you multiply this way. So you're going to get negative 1 times 1 minus 1 times 2 over. You multiply across when you solve matrices. 2 times 1 minus negative 1 times 1.
for your X matrices. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 minus 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 times 1 is 2 and then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 so it's going to be plus positive 1 on the bottom. So if you add negative 1, negative 2, you get negative 3 over 3 so you get negative 1 for x. And then we're just going to plug this x into this equation. So 2 times negative 1 plus y equals negative 1. Negative 2 plus y equals negative 1. Add the 2 over, you get y is equal to 1. Or you could put it in another matrix for y. You would do the same thing, except it you would start here and then do this one. So I'm going to show you how to do the y coordinate in a matrix e, just so you know what to do. Okay. For y, we have we're going to start with this first coefficient here. So 2 then this constant right here, negative 1, over this first coefficient here, negative 1, and this constant here, divided by the same first coefficient, this coefficient, and then these two coefficients, negative 1 and 1. And you, once again, you cross multiply. So you get 2 times 2 minus negative 1 times negative 1 over 2 times 1 minus negative 1 times 1. So here you get 4 minus negative 1 times negative 1 gives you positive 1. So minus positive 1 over 2. Negative 1 times 1 gives you negative 1, and when we minus a negative, we actually add a positive. So 2 plus 1, so then we get 3 over 3, and as you can see, we get 1, just like we did when we plugged it in. So either way, you can do it. I just wanted you to know how to do it both ways. So that's all. That's all we have for today, and this is our last lesson on solving systems of equations. In the next video we're going to start talking about circles.